Hey, what's up guys? Dark Breaker here and welcome to this Pantheon guide. In today's video, we are going to discuss the best item build for Pantheon. And then I'm going to talk about the rune spells, going to show you some combos in a practice mode. And then we are going to hop right into the gameplay. And the gameplay is going to be a uh, pretty exciting high elo gameplay, so definitely stay tuned. So for the item build, let's get started with the main core items for Pantheon. Number one core item is definitely the Black Cleaver. It gives you HP, attack damage and ability haste. On top of that, you have the Sunder. Dealing physical damage will reduce the armor of the enemies. And in combination with the third ability, you can apply the Sunder pretty well onto the opponents doing tons of armor penetration or applying tons of armor penetration so you can burst the opponents and also your teammates can burst the opponent on top of that you have the rage physical damage grants movement speed which is pretty nice so what are the key stats that you need on pantheon it's definitely ad ability haste and then also some hp so those are the three main stuff that you want to get for obviously armor penetration as well so we have the black cleaver for armor penetration and then later on for the late game we have the serida's grudge or the mortar reminder it really depends on what you want to go for next item is gonna be the boots cooldown reduction boots uh, enables pantheon to spam his abilities this is very important on pantheon you could also obviously go for mercury or for a plated steel caps plated steel caps against physical comps and mercury threats against uh, team compositions where they have a lot of crowd control then in the top lane what i like to go is proto build it just enables you with the second ability you can use proto build second ability that's a nice combo you can obviously go for stasis as well you engage with the ultimate do a lot of damage you activate stasis so you can survive longer for your teammates or you use teleport but honestly do you need teleport with a pantheon ultimate nope you don't quick silver slash is viable dot but you don't really need it blade of the rune king this item works like a charm on pantheon because of his second ability and the enhanced second ability so gives you ad gives you attack speed gives you life steal rune strikes attack deal bonus physical damage equal to six percent of enemies current health and the second ability the enhanced second ability counts as three auto attacks and also three stacks on the conqueror and also procs the drain passive immediately hitting a champion with three attacks or abilities deals magic damage and steals movement speed by 25 percent so the enhanced second ability is gonna proc the drain passive immediately so you can burst people with the blade of the rune king pretty well Next item, Sterox Gauge. One of the best core items for any bruiser. It gives you HP, gives you the plus 50 base attack damage. Lifeline. Damage that puts you under 35% health gives you bonus HP. And Sterox Fury. Triggering Lifeline increases size and grants 30% tenacity for 8 seconds. So when you have Sterox Gauge, you don't necessarily need the Mercury anymore. Then next item, Guardian Angel, gives you attack damage, gives you armor, gives you the revive, very good item in the mid and late game. And then for the late game armor penetration against physical comms, you always want to go for armor penetration on Pantheon. So it's going to be either Cyril that's Grudge. So you get armor penetration, ability haste, very good on Pantheon. And every time you use an ability, you will slow the opponent down on top of that. If you need anti heal though, you should go for Mortal Reminder. Obviously, the last few items, you can change the order. Maybe you want the armor penetration early. You go like this and then get Sterox and then Guardian Angel. Or you go like this. Or you go Sterox into Serida and then Guardian Angel. It's really up to you what you need for each scenario or each game. You can obviously adjust your build for the 5th and 6th spot by getting some defense. You can go for Thawmail for, to be more tanky. Rondin's Omen. You can also go for... Um, Maybe Force of Nature for magic resistance in the late game if you need to. But yeah, those are your options for physical damage. Otherwise, you could go Humus 
But I feel like Jumus is not an item you need in the top lane. If you play Pantheon Jungle, you maybe want, can go Jumus first item. But honestly, you could go Death Dance if you want to. If you want to play very aggressive, you could go Armor Penetration here. It's Ghost Your Wielder. And then you go Death Dance on top of that instead of Guardian Angel. Death Dance definitely also a good item. Because it gives you HP, AD, Ability Haste, Physical, Vamp and also the Cauterize passive. So yeah, obviously I know some people like to go for the crit Pantheon build. It's viable, it's not that bad because your burst ability can crit below 35%. So you could go charge blade into IE, infinity edge, but honestly do you need it? No, not really. You could go for it though, I'm not saying it's not viable. For the runes, it's definitely Conqueror. Why Conqueror? It gives you tons of bonus AD and... Your enhanced second ability procs 3 stacks of Conqueror immediately, so you can get full stacks of Conqueror very easily on Pantheon, giving you tons of damage. That's a must have. And now for the first row, you have... I mean, you can go Brutal for the early game, you can go Champion, or you go for Triumph. Triumph is probably also viable. As top lane, I don't think you can stack the Vampirism too well. So it's gonna be champion or brutal usually. Brutal early game better than champion. Champion scales better, and if you don't die, it's better. But uh, yeah, like like it says in the description, high risk, high damage, and this is AD armor penetration. Then second row, I think Carapaz is the best for the early game laning phase, when you want to cheese and go for the one vs one first blood. Otherwise, you can go for second wins. When you have a hard matchup where you expect to get poked or have a hard time. And then you can also go for Hunter's Titan for the tenacity and HP. Remember, you can't, it's unique champion takedown, so it's not that insane. So usually I go for these two. Sometimes, if I really need the tenacity, I will go for Hunter's Titan, but usually it's Carapaz or Second Wind. And now for the second row, uh, third row, I go for Sweet Tooth. You could also go for Hunter Genius, but I think Sweet Tooth is just way better. Oh yeah, I forgot for the item build. You could go for Mana Immune. I've seen some people go for Mana Immune. It definitely has insane gold value and decent synergy with Pantheon because it gives you ability haste, AD. And it gives you tons of AD, but remember you need to get 700 stacks first. So it is viable. Is it the best? I'm not sure. I think gold value wise, it's pretty good to be honest. So you could go Muramana, maybe second item. You get the tier early and then you get Mana Moon or Muramana, second item. For the spells, it's Ignite Flash on Pantheon in solo queue. You want to get that solo kill early on, definitely. If you're struggling in the lane against a hard matchup, you could also go for Barrier, but usually I would recommend you guys to just go for the. Ignite. But yeah, that's gonna do it for the item build and let's hop right into practice mode. So I'm gonna show you some stuff right here. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's get started with the tips I can give you on Pantheon. I think the main important thing on Pantheon is definitely the Protoball combo. This is such a game changer because as you guys can see here, you can just Protoball second ability and get close very easily onto the opponent. And like I said, with the when you have 5 stacks, you can immediately proc the Conqueror. Look at the Conqueror. I have 0 stacks right here. Boom. Already 4 stacks. Just because of the second ability and 1 auto attack, 4 stacks and already 5 stacks right here. Okay, okay. now for the first ability, a tip I can give you is... You can extend the range for flashing. Like, see? This way, I wouldn't hit her. Or almost like this, I wouldn't hit her. But if I use this and then flash, I still hit him. This is kinda good if you wanna finish off a person who is really low life. And remember the spear, when they are below 35% HP, it's gonna crit. So it's very easily easy to finish off people with this one. Another gap close combo would be maybe. Wait. You can input trigger like this. You're not in range, but you can input. Wait a second. Okay, now I need to face the right direction. 
So you see as as you can see here, I'm not in the I'm not in the range really. But since I lock onto the opponent, I can just use second ability and then flash at the same time. And it's just gonna immediately stun on him. So that's what you call input trigger. By locking your targeting onto the opponent, you press the second ability and then you pr press flash at the same time. And then it's gonna come out like this. You can also use it with the proto belt. Same combo. Like instead of using proto belt and then you stun, you can also input trigger into stun into proto belt. This works as well. Wait, maybe we can use even further. Let's see. It does work, actually. So you can input trigger Protobolt Flash onto the opponent like this. So instead of just dashing with a Protobolt, you can dash using Protobolt, Flash, and then second ability. So you can cover tons of distance like this. Wait, let's stay as far as possible. So I wanna put... I'm gonna press second ability, then I'm gonna Protobolt, and then I'm gonna Flash. And it's working, nice. See how much distance I can cover this way? Okay, let's see the other way if I just W flash protobolt. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah because you're protobolting on top of him. So you want to use second ability protobolt flash to cover this and they are going to get stunned. Actually, they're not getting stunned. Am I, am I blind? Or you just use... Instead of doing the input trigger, you can just do it manually. Yeah, I guess you just do it manually, which is better than the input trigger. So look at the distance. I'm gonna... Protobelt, flash, and then second ability. How much distance I can cover. And then another tip... Wait, I was told the third ability doesn't block turret damage anymore, right? Wait, let's see. Okay, they're right. So what you want to do with the ultimate, for example, is you can input trigger. You use the ultimate on someone and you press the second ability the whole time already. You can lock like this, you can see I'm targeting on him. And I'm stunning immediately, uh, targeting him in the air already. But I guess that's about it for the combos from Pantheon. So let's hop right into the gameplay. Okay, boys, let's go Pantheon in the top lane against Malford. I'm going to show you how to play Pantheon laning phase wise, then how to play him in the team fights, etc. I already explained to you guys what the best item build for Pantheon is right now. Especially since we're all AD, it's recommended for uh, to go for recommended to go for some armor penetration pretty early into this game. Obviously, Black Cleaver is a great armor penetration item in general for Pantheon, especially since we have only physical damage in our team comp, and the enemies, they have Malphite, so you can basically just stack armor. So I would recommend you guys to get the armor penetration, Mortal Reminder, or Serialist pretty early. Then unleash a little bit for him. I think you pretty much can poke down the Malphite thanks to his shield, and he will const consistently spam his first ability onto you so how do you reduce the damage just last it and uh, stay in the bush stay in the bush last it at the same time yes so against diana first blood for diana already like i literally can poke this guy down even if i wanted to look at the damage i'm doing it's so low wait who's right here Ah, I didn't close it, so yeah, I can hear it. Fuck. Stop writing. Anyways. Let's see where the enemy jungle is. This is a Momo. He should be my side. Or not? Like, he should go for full red. I mean, red into blue clear. Standard. Standard wise. I, I might be able to dive a move. Force the flash. A Momo is not here, so I know I can play aggressive. Amumu's top side, surprisingly, he went for full red clear. Always pay attention to the enemy uh, jungle pathing. Gonna poke him right here with the first ability. And let's dive. 
Use my third ability to block the damage. I actually didn't even need to. So, with the passive, after every fifth ability or auto attack, your next ability is going to be enhanced. First ability increased damage, second ability a longer stun duration and applies uh, Conqueror 3. I think it counts as 3. So, 3 Conqueror stacks with a third ability, uh, second ability. And third ability should be longer duration. Stun him. And if the opponent is low life, below 35%, then your first ability will also crit. So, Pantheon, really good um, kill stealer or kill securer, whatever you want to call it. Look at this, he's low life. I'm just gonna snipe. Actually, I wanted to zone him. And now we can just dive this gun as well. And boom. Pantheon, I mean, you also got that kill, it's fine. 4 out of 5 KP, great team fight. I used the. The ultimate might be a little bit questionable. I tried to zone them from going the top path. And instead, they had to run around the. I'm gonna show it to you guys right here. Instead of running this way to escape, I tried to use my ultimate here to force them to run here down. And then I can collapse from behind. To be honest, I thought they would run this way or flash here over and then I can collapse on them. But instead they went this way and then I just used, boom, spear onto him and then collapse onto the Diana. So I used it more as a zoning tool compared to a hard engage. Third ability and I'm just going to quickly flashing up before Amumu uses his ultimate onto me. Because if we get ultimated, I might be pretty low and then Malfoy comes in with the uh, ultimate, so avoided that one. But let me see what chat is writing. Hello chat, how are you guys doing? We're gonna watch the grand finals pretty soon. Um, SA team, pretty hyped versus TSM. Huge hug from Brazil. Yo, thank you. Can't block turret damage, it was removed. Oh, really? Okay, lucky. Pantheon's third ability can't... I think it can still block damage or not. It doesn't block turret damage, really. Really? Okay, good to know. Never mind. You can block turret damage. You're watching an 8 finals? I'm not sure if I'm gonna be that long awake, because it's gonna be lower finals. I think I'm gonna co-stream with Snitch. And then, ooh. Yeah, I kinda greedy, we're gonna get collapsed and they get shut down. Kinda greedy, we got collapsed on. Um, I'm not sure because lower bracket final and then upper bracket final might be go past 3 or 4 a.m. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna spectate the whole grand finals. It would be exciting to see Tribe versus, I don't know. Which team is gonna qualify for the grand finals? I'm gonna ultimate in. Come on, stop him! Senna! No, 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 no. Unlucky. Are you guys wondering, we're gonna spectate this one. This is gonna be a guide. I'm gonna edit this one into a guide. And then afterwards, we're gonna watch the grand finals for Brazil. Third ability blocking damage. Look at the proto belt, and then. This was fucking sexy, man. Snipe, he doesn't die. We crit him, but he survives with 1% HP. Let's rewatch this one so you guys can see. Okay, they're engaging. I think Yasu, yeah, Yasu got that hook. I mean, Yasu got that ultimate, and then I'm jumping in. Look at the. Crit I do with my first ability doing tons of damage and then Protobelt also does additional damage and Protobelt is very useful for Pantheon to gap close using Protobelt into second ability or flash into second ability or um, Protobelt flash second ability for the super insane gap close of Doom. Those are your options basically. And when, when it comes to which enhanced ability you want to use, 
I would say usually you want to use the enhanced second ability because you will proc the blade of the room king immediately bursting them, slowing them down, getting three conqueror stacks. So enhanced second ability is usually the go to engage. And then afterwards just use your enhanced first ability for maximum amount of damage. Okay, nice play. We're gonna secure the bot turret. Even though we lost the dragon, I think it's fine. Wait, which dragon was it? Mountain? If it's mountain, it doesn't matter, to be honest. I think it was mountain, right? Brazil Mordekaiser, okay, so yeah, true. <laughs> I, I remember what the Mordekaiser means from Brazil. I think they used Mordekaiser to actually win something at Worlds. If, we, if, I, if I'm not wrong. Which team was it that used Mordekaiser at Worlds? And they did pretty well. Which Brazil team was it again? I forgot the name. It's so long ago. Probably like 6-7 years. Anyways, we're doing pretty fun. We're 515. We have a lot of gold. We're gonna get the Blade of the Rune King next. We're super fed. Team fight happening at the top side. I'm gonna reset. Mid lane Yasuo pushing the mid turret. That's pretty good. Maybe I can use the ultimate to collapse onto the top side. Pantheon's pretty much shove the wave and then try to roam, make plays happen with the ultimate. Like, you can. Stay very long in the bot lane or in your own lane to shop in the wave. And then afterwards you can use the ultimate to still join team fights. Like Pantheon is insanely, uh, like really great at snowballing and joining team fights in general to make it a 4 vs 5 situation. Or shop in long enough that the enemy laner is still in the bot lane trying to defend the wave. And then you can use the ultimate to join the team fight. So overall I would say... Pantheon, if you are snowballing, he can be very, very good to snowball the game. But he's a champion that is not insanely good at carrying 1 versus 9 because he falls off in the late game. So you have to make sure to play perfectly, snowball in the early game, make sure to win in the mid game and then end the game as quickly as possible. Late game, you fall behind. Your damage is not that high anymore and you just get one-shotted by a lot of... Um, Mages or ADCs. Unless you want to go for a Bruiser build, where you build a little bit more tanky, then that's fine. But usually I prefer to go for the full damage build or almost full damage build. Okay, I'm gonna pro the build out. Lucian is doing tons of damage to me. Can I get that kill onto the Lucian? Lucian is kind of low. Three people dead. None of us died. Four people dead. Four for zero so far. I think we should reset right here. Gonna clear the wave, maybe take the plant, uh, maybe take the crux as well for extra gold. I'm close to Sterox Gauge. I think I'm gonna try to farm for Sterox Gauge. One more wave, then maybe crux. And then I have Sterox. Let's see if this might be enough for Sterox actually. Okay, 3k. Actually, not enough for Sterox. They're fighting in the mid lane. Malvada is gonna come. Cock blocked me. Yikes. Why are you doing this to me? This toxic. Ultimate, maybe? I could maybe join. Hmm? Okay, Malphite, relax. Stop this. Okay, Inferno Dragon is, uh, is up. I'm gonna get Sterox Gauge, reset, and then join the team fight. Oh, actually, I don't have enough. Could get Guardian Angel. Robbie. L Y N X, thank you for the sub. Dude, your name is too hard to pronounce. Sorry for that one. Anyways, ultimate in. Boom. I'm gonna go for that. I think we're gonna go for Malphite first. Now let's go for Lucian. Gonna flash over S1, Proto Build, Ignite, and the next S1 is just gonna kill him. Actually, not quite. Big Knight kills him. Okay, Diana is here. I don't wanna die, so I'm gonna retreat it a bit. 
And I jump in right here because I have a third ability. Yasuo goes in the scale well and we get another kill. 9-1-9 right now on the Pantheon pick. Hey. Nice last thing by the way. Hi, I'm your friend from Cambodia. Shout me out. Max to drip. Yo, thank you. Maybe how about how about the prime? <laughs> I'm just kidding. When patch 2.4 preview comes out, do reaction. Yeah, I probably get the notes though before this. So even when I, even when I get the, um, even when I see the video, I probably already know the details of the entire patch. So it's not gonna be a live live reaction, because I already know what's gonna be in the patch. So I, I don't know about that one. I can tease a bit. I can tease a bit. Oh my god, this patch is really super insane. La like, I was supposed to get the patch notes on Friday, but it got delayed, so I'm probably gonna get them on Monday. Hopefully. Hopefully. Copium. Pray for it. You're gonna do an A stream? I'm not sure if I'm gonna still stream till then. I don't know if I'm still gonna stream till then. Maybe. Maybe I'm just gonna join Discord instead of streaming. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how long the Brazil finals are gonna be. I was planning to do a reaction to Thousand on his graves. Thousand number one jungler in NA. Best graves. That would be the video. Oh, I got silence or something. Yeah, I think it was a Blitzcrank ultimate. Boom. Bump. I wanted to use S1 Flash. So, wait. I can show it to you. Where was it here? Down in here. Protobel to secure the Amumu. And now what I wanted to do is S1 Flash onto the Malphite. Here. S1. Pew. This line. S1 flash on Malphite, so he dies. But I think it was the Blitzcrank that silenced my spear. Wait, see? See? Yeah, it was the Blitzcrank ultimate that uh, silenced my first ability. Unlucky. Solving this one, I think we should reset. We have a lot of gold right here. You guys wondering after this game or after this Pantheon guide, we are gonna spectate the grand finals of the Brazil qualification or qualifier for the Horizon Cup. So stay tuned for this one. I just realized the webcam is so bright, holy shit. And they still need to do lower bracket finds in Grand Parties. Yeah, I know, it's gonna take super long. Like it starts at 9pm, then you have lower Grand Final, which might take one and a half hour or two hours. Or one and a half. Boom, look at that dive! Look at that dive! Ooh. The protobal dive. <laughs> nice one. Okay. I think we can dive the Lucian. Like he's his position is not that great. Boom! And we dive him. Oh, we barely we don't get him. The Batman. Let's take the turret and then reset. I think we can't end right here. I'm kinda low. Uh, the others are all alive again. I'm pinging reset boys, reset! What are you doing? Run, reset! No! Why? Why are you so overextended? Just reset. 
That's what I mean. Uh, don't get too overconfident even when you are ahead because if you give shutdown to the opponents, you give them the opportunity to still come back and win the game. And now they can get Baron. I'm gonna keep poking the Amumu. Let's. Oh, I get stunned! Oh, stunned! Okay, let's dash out, flash out. I'm gonna take the plant and I'm gonna go back in because we need to stop them from taking the barrel. I need to go back in. <laughs> I go out, I go back in. Let's go for that. Lucian, we get the kill onto the Lucian. We get the kill onto the Blitzcrank and now it's against Malphite. Malphite survives and unlucky. We were supposed to be the hero, but we barely didn't manage to get it done. We didn't manage to get the job done. Damn it. Too close. Today in a region is too, I'm not sure, maybe. I'm not sure, not gonna lie, I'm not sure. SA or TSM, I honestly I haven't followed them too much, but I was told SA is really really good. I was told SA is really good. So maybe SA is gonna win against TSM. Honestly, I have no idea, I haven't followed uh, the scene too much, I haven't really followed the tournament. I, I've watched um, NA way more than um, Brazil. So I would say Tribe is probably gonna win it. Probably. They're fighting, I'm like, hell no. I'm not fighting a 3 versus 5. Hell no. No, 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 no. I'm not fighting a 3 versus 5. Bye bye. You can fight it. I don't wanna fight it. And here is the Mr. Amumu. Let's chase him down. Amumu. Let's predict where he's gonna path, use the ultimate to stop him. He's gonna use the plant, but we have the protobel into dash, and boom, bye bye, sayonara. Now, against this Diana, I get the kill, 18 kills so far. Let's see if we can go for that Lucian maybe, stun that Lucian, boom. He's pretty low, I'm gonna use my third ability, he's actually gonna survive this. My guardian angel is getting popped, and now... We are in the enemy base. Let's see if we can end it in time. I'm gonna use S1 into flash, trying to escape right here. Three people are dead, and I'm really low. I think I'm gonna reset, get teleport, and then join back in. Let's reset quickly, get the teleport, and maybe. Ooh, the root of Malphite. Maybe we can go for the Malphite. Stun him. No, not in range. He's super low. We barely don't get that kill. This Lucian super low, but it looks like we cannot finish the game right here. The Nexus is only at 1k though. Nexus is at 1k, the others are respawning. Oh, Sin Chao is gonna go for that engage! What the fuck? Sin Chao is just gonna go for that engage. Can use my third ability? Blocking damage, I'm super low life. It looks like I'm gonna die right here. Yeah, I'm gonna die. But the minions! <laughs> <laughs> well, like the Sinch, I just went for one versus but luckily the minions are gonna end the game right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Pantheon in... what elo is this? Grandmaster or something? Grandmaster 200, not the LP. MVP 18, 3, 12 MVP, most damage, most kills, most gold. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush